my name is Lily. Welcome, and I'm glad that you're watching today. My channel is a place where I share all my healthy, vegan, mostly whole food, plant-based recipes with all of you. Today, I'm coming to you with a new recipe, and this one is my crispy tofu udon noodle stir fry. It is so delicious, guys. You're gonna be so excited to make this one. Here's a little sneak peek, because I've already made it. Yeah, it's delicious. So stay tuned, I will show you how to make this delicious meal for yourself. The first ingredient is gonna be some tamari. You could also use soy sauce or coconut aminos, but I'm just gonna be using one tablespoon of this tamari. And then I'm also gonna be adding in one tablespoon of rice vinegar. You could also use mirin. And then I'm using one tablespoon of maple syrup. You could use agave as well. And then one teaspoon or so of sriracha or any hot sauce. And then I'm gonna do two teaspoons of minced garlic. Two tablespoons of cold water. And then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of tahini. If you don't have tahini, you could use any kind of nut butter, but tahini is going to be the best in this recipe. It just helps it to be really creamy. I'm just going to whisk all of these together, and then I'm going to add in some cornstarch. I'm going to do one teaspoon of cornstarch, and this is going to help thicken our sauce once we heat it up. So just mix it all together, make sure there are no clumps. And next I'm going to prepare the crispy tofu. So I used super firm tofu just because it doesn't require any pressing. You could also use extra firm or firm tofu, just whatever your taste buds prefer. But I'm just going to crumble it into chunks, I guess, maybe like little nugget sized chunks. And you want the edges to be rough because that's what's going to help this tofu crisp up really nice in the air fryer. You could also use tofu that has been in the freezer overnight and then thawed out. That will help give it a better texture overall. But I'm only going to use about half of this block of tofu. And this will be enough for me and Jake. So if you want to make four servings, use the whole block. And then I just shake in some cornstarch and toss it all together to get all of the edges nice and coated and then I'm going to throw this in my air fryer um, 400 degrees and I'm going to cook this for about 10 to 12 minutes and toss it halfway through just until the tofu is really nice and crispy you could also bake it in the oven at 425 degrees and probably would take about twice the amount of time in the oven Next, I'm going to prepare all of my veggies going into this delicious stir fry. First, I have one yellow onion, but I'm only going to use half of the onion. And you just want to slice it into long skinny pieces. I like to do that because it helps incorporate in the noodles better that way. Same thing with the mushrooms, just slice those up. And then I'm going to be using a bell pepper. I had an orange one on hand, but I would have pre preferred a red bell pepper just because of the flavor is slightly better. But I just julienne these as well. And then I'm also going to use a zucchini. Um, I had this on hand and needed to use it, but I thought this would be really great. You could also use some broccoli instead. But I just cut the zucchini in nice little thin strips just to keep everything uniform. And then I have one large carrot, and I just grate this on the large grating setting on my grater. And I just add all the veggies to my bowl. And these are going to be really nice in the stir fry. And you want to cook the veggies down first uh, for a few minutes, probably like 10 to 15 minutes, before you add in your udon noodles. So I do have a wok, so I just heat up my wok with a little bit of toasted sesame oil because I did not add any to the sauce, which I normally would, but I just wanted to have something in the pan um, because my wok likes to stick a little bit. So 
I just add in all of those veggies and get those sauteed down really nicely. And while that is happening, I have a pot of water boiling and I have these frozen udon noodles. And these are really nice because they don't get too soft in the stir fry. So I just put those in the boiling water and cook them for two minutes. And the tofu is all nice and crispy. So let's add that to the stir fry. And then I have my sauce that we've already prepared. So I'm just going to pour the sauce all over it and let it really soak into that tofu. This is when things start to get delicious, guys. So I'm just going to continue to heat this up, stir it all together, let that cornstarch activate in the sauce and allow the sauce to really thicken. And then my noodles are done. I'm going to drain those right away and get them under some cold water so that they do not continue to cook. You don't want mushy noodles. And then you're going to add your noodles into your stir fry once the sauce is thickened and just toss everything together and it looks heavenly. Oh, last minute addition, some crushed red pepper flakes. Totally optional, but I thought that it needed some as well as some sesame seeds. And I have black sesame seeds, which look really pretty. I'm going to cut up a few green onions that I had on hand just as a nice additional topping and it is time to plate up It is all done. I'm so excited to give this a taste. Such a pretty meal. This would be perfect to make if you're having guests over. Even non-vegans would like this. And look at this tofu on top. Oh my gosh. I gotta try just that first in the sauce. It looks so delicious. Mmm. That is the stuff. Now I need to get a taste of the delicious noodles in that sauce. Oh my god. really hot too. Let me get that mushroom on there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Udon noodles are just seriously such a comfort food because they're so thick. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I picked these up at my local Asian market in the frozen aisle. So maybe you could try and find some there. Your hair. Ooh. I'm gonna go enjoy this for dinner with Jake and I hope that you decide to give this a try. If you do, please comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And also, if you made it to this point in the video, comment down below and let me know what your favorite kind of stir fry is. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.